Also, we handle workers' compensation where that does not require any negligence at all. If you are hurt while you're doing your job duties, then if your company has at least three employees, you're going to have a workers' compensation claim most of the time. That's very fact-specific as well. Uh, but if you're doing something for the benefit of the employer and you're injured, then you're going to be covered in a, in a way that takes care of your medical bills, your lost wages, and your permanent impairment. All right, so, so let's kind of back up for a second, right? We're, we're, we're talking about if you're injured in a car accident, if you're on a motorcycle, if you're riding a bicycle, if you're at someone's home, if you're doing something and you get injured by the negligence of someone else, you may be entitled to damages, right? And, and we'll go into the types of damages and, and what determines the size of your damages. But also, interestingly, when you say at work for the benefit of the employer, I want you to clarify that a little more for me because does it mean I have to be sitting in my cube or could I be um, at a company uh, event? Let's say um, we're having cocktails or a picnic. Uh, does that count? Is that covered under worker, workers' comp? Those kind of cases are also very, very fact uh, specific. But if the example is that someone is at a softball event that's sponsored by the employer, it's uh, not mandatory, but it's recommended. Uh, a lot of those cases have been found to be compensable workers' comp cases okay. because you are basically there for the morale of the company. And, and if I'm driving, if I'm driving uh, to uh, deliver something for the benefit of my employer and we get into a car accident, I might have both. That's exactly correct. You are going to have both if you are uh, doing a company purpose, if you're on an errand for the business. Right. Uh, traveling salesman, they basically, if you're out of town at a conference, you're going to be covered during your entire trip as long as you're within a certain radius of your hotel, for example. The case laws are very, very specific. If you begin to venture off too far from where the conference site is, then a lot of times it's not a compensable. You've gone on your own personal errand. But if you are there for the purpose of the conference and you know, that's for the benefit of the employer, then you would have a compensable claim. You know, 